EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From a stunning setting, Torrey Pines Golf Course in Southern California, it's opening round coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open. Situated high on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean, what a golf course, Torrey Pines, and what a weekend we should have in store as we look at the leaderboard here in round one. Justin Lauer is your leader. He's off to a four under start. So let's get out to the course as we join the action on the tee at the par 5 13th hole. We're here at Torrey Pines, just north of San Diego. Our featured golfer whom we followed last week in the desert put on quite a show in that PGA Tour debut. Spot up near the top of that final leaderboard. Didn't turn out to be a win, but Frank, there had to be a lot of positives to take from week one. There certainly was, Rich, top 10. Uh, that means you're no slouch. You belong on the PGA Tour. But I just want to say hold your horses at the moment. I really want to see how this week turns out. And the reason why last week I was a flat track. This week, you have a bona fide U.S. Open golf course in Torrey Pines. You know, over 7,500 yards, mean and tough. Cold conditions this time of the year. If this is a top 10 as well this week, well then, yeah, I'm a believer. Let's get the thoughts now of four-time PGA Tour winner Noda Begay the third. And Noda, our featured golfer, has to be brimming with confidence after that opening tournament. And why not? You go out and you pick up your first top ten on the PGA Tour. You secure a nice paycheck, but you also get a clear understanding of just what it's going to take to be successful at this level. And that, without question, is what you build on. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, and I'm seeing a bit of right to left break on this, but that's certainly not the focus. It's a steep slope, so you've got to concentrate and make sure you get this up to the hole. And this will be a five foot putt here. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And he'll stay at 200. We're here, of course, at Torrey Pines, the south course. Long history of this event in San Diego, dating back to 1952. It's been here at Torrey since 1968. A lot of great winners. Frank, you've played the course a number of times. Overall, what are the things that a young golfer like this needs to keep in mind this week? You have to remind yourself, it's just a plain, hard, straight-up golf course. And plus, it's going to play every inch of its length because of the marine layer that often comes in. So you have that very dense air. We're obviously at sea level. And plus the Poana Greens. You're going to miss the odd short putt. Um, you can't let that get to you. You look around the leaderboard, you don't see the same 60 nothings that we saw the week before. Well, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Rich, there's one thing about good iron play. When you hit it and it comes off the club face, you know it's going to be close. More evidence there. A great opportunity here for Birdie. Easy does it there. It's a birdie at 14. And he's got it to three under now. Just two back. The 15th hole is up next. A par four at 480 yards. Not a whole lot to it. A tee shot of the fairway should leave you with a reasonable approach into a green with bunkers left and right. We had a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee.
Second shot. Good look at the green. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Ah, the putter on point late here in the round. Birdie's at 14 and 15. And he'll get it now to four under par. Just two shots off the lead. Coming down the home stretch here at Torrey Pines, 227 yard par 316. Three bunkers protecting the green, but there is an opening in the front. Yeah, even with the uphill slope, it's just hard to get a ball to stop on this green from that far back, and that'll run off long and into the rough. Oh, would you expect anything less with the way things are going? Everything is dropping right now, even balls from off the green. Next up, the penultimate hole at Torrey Pines, 443-yard par four. Have to avoid the fairway bunker, 275 yards down that right side. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. He split the middle of the street on this one. He's going to have a good look. Second shot. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Well, obviously that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Yeah, that's a good pop. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll stay at 500. This 18th hole is not overly long. 570 yards of par five. And it's straight. Should be able to get home in two. But the key is you have to keep it in the fairway. If you hit in that rough, you're more than likely going to lay up short of that pond and try to make birdie the conventional way. But if you hit it in the fairway, Good opportunity to go for it in two and finish your round with an eagle. And just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there.
really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Good little bunker shot, just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Yeah, tough to gauge quite how far the ball's going to travel coming out of the sand, and that checks up a little bit short. Safe par here at 18. And this will be an opening round 67 on the scorecard. Well done. Our featured golfer in a good position, you'd have to say. Just three shots off the pace after round one. Just got to keep the leaders in check, though. Can't afford to get uh, well further away. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Jolla, California, just north of San Diego, live second round coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open. So much to behold here at Torrey Pines, the ocean, the cliffs, the trees, the green grass, the blue sky, maybe even a paraglider or two as we check out the Friday leaderboard. Justin Lauer is your leader. He's currently at eight under. Let's get out to the play as we pick things up at the par four seven. This second round getting going from Torrey Pines, the second tournament of the year, and really the story folks are talking about has been the play of our featured golfer here. The win last week out at the American Express in that first ever professional appearance and now here we are five days later and frank that same name is up near the top of the leaderboard once again i'm even more impressed this week rich you know so often we say horses for courses but you couldn't get two more diverse golf courses than last week flat track to now tory this week which is a bona fide u.s open golf course if you can play well last week and win that's one thing if you can take that same game that you had and adapt it to this golf course you just flat out good so, Frank, this is the second round of the season's second tournament here at Torrey Pines, and the young golfer we're following really playing well here in the first two starts of their young career. Nice finish, as we saw at PGA West, and now good start to this week as well. What a great start, Rich. I think if you look at golf over the last decade, and that, remember Jordan Spieth, what a splash he made. When he, as soon as he came out on tour, he was ready to win money, FedEx Cup points, all the way to the top of the list. And then you look at guys like Sun J M, you know, who was like always just one step down. We, all, we, we weren't talking about him, but week in, week out, he was putting his name on the leaderboard. We've got another career we're looking at right now that is very similar to those two players. Nope, that's not going to get there. It's into the bunker short of this eighth green. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three.
This from seven feet. Ah, good stuff, though it is for a bogey four. Now he's going to fall a couple of shots off the pace. Well, next week, the California swing continues. We head up the coast to Pebble Beach. There's nothing like it. The AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Yeah, it started all those years away with all the Hollywood stars. The great Bing Crosby it used to be called the clam bait. But look what it's turned into now. Now golf is at the stars. And if you want to be part of this, there's no better place. Come to Pebble Beach. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Yes, nicely done. It's in for birdie, and it's into red figures now at one under par. Always nice to kickstart your back nine with a birdie, and you'll have a chance. If, again, and we, we keep repeating this theme at Torrey Pines, if you hit a good tee shot, then you can attack. This one starting a little bit left. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notavigay the third. Found himself on the number at 145 yards to the front, 108 to the hole, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. Right at it with the sand wedge, coming in just over the pin. That's a good shot, and more importantly too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he's going to move to seven under par, two under on the deck. Moving now to the tough 11th hole here at Torrey Pines. Long downhill par three measuring 225 yards. But don't be fooled by that number. This hole often plays longer because of the wind. And that's certainly not what you have in mind standing on the tee box. That never had a chance of hitting the green.
Just a little over ambitious on that chip shot. Just sailed past. 18 feet from the bottom of the cup. Ah, uh, yes, a perfect read there. That is in to save par. And he's going to stay two back. So for our featured golfer, Frank, they're in good position here for the weekend. Just a couple of shots back of our leader. Basically, it's just birdie bogey and the tide. I think that's the way we're going to look at it come uh, tomorrow. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour.